All right, should be good. <clears throat> I need to adjust this a little. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress, Histories of Jealousy and Diligence. In Ramul Tadin, the Plane of Enchantment, we have Dragon Age. Early Summer, 17. So we started this fort in the spring of 5, so it's been active for 12 years. We have yet to invite a dragon into our fort, despite having everything devoted to said dragon. And we have a capital. We have our queen. We have some beat seats that have been locked up for some reason. That's fine, right? Let's uh, do a quick Four tour. Oh, I wanted to increase the volume a little bit because I can't hear it. Should be better. Uh, yeah, let's do a quick four tour. Jump up to the surface. Not much going on on the surface. We really haven't done a whole lot up here. Um, we have this structure for our pasturable animals. Uh, we have kangaroos and joeys now. Yeah, we have joeys. Uh, in addition to way too many alpaca and llamas and sheep and I don't even know what else. Uh, we got a lot of animals. I'm pretty sure we have more animals than people. Uh, we have two ramps into our fort. We have this one here which goes down to the trade depot. And we have this one here, which goes down to some cage traps. Um, we're hoping to trap a dragon. I'd say that since the dragon hasn't shown up yet, it's unlikely to happen. But if it doesn't happen, we'll just dig deep today. How about that? Uh, we do have some traders here with way too many wagons. Uh, I imagine we've already done our trading. Yes, we have. Um... So we're all set there. Uh, and then we have this uh, set of hatch covers, which goes down to our stairs. And then it goes down here. Um, this is our barracks, which is pretty bare bones, frankly, but fine. Um, our armory, uh, clay collection zone. Uh, we have an aquifer that we're tapping into up here, which goes into this reservoir here, which is how we flooded this for our farming. Uh, we have a Farmer's Guild and a Planter's Guild. Um, and then we get down to our main construction layer. Oh, actually, we have here, we have some bare bones uh, temples. Um, we didn't have anybody requesting temples per se, but we did have a lot of people that were looking to uh, worship their particular gods. So we just put a few here. Uh, we have our sloths over here because apparently we're breeding sloths now as one does. Uh, we have our pigs over here. We have a mist generator. Um, our trash compactor, which we should unlock. Um, another mist generator that goes over our hospital. And this is our main construction layer. So this is where the, the dwarves work for the most part. We have two artifacts door doors for them to go through as they go up and down these stairs. Uh, we have a doctor's guild here, the hospital, uh, one tavern here, as well as our mayor's dining hall, our count's dining hall, our count, our duke, our duke's dining hall, uh, our duke's throne room, our queen's throne room. This is the um, throne room and or, or rather office and dining hall for our outpost liaison who died. Oops. Uh, we have our animal trainer guild here. Our manager and our bookkeeper have offices down here. We finally gave them actual rooms. They were just sitting here out in the open for a while. Uh, 
we have a ranger's guild over here which we actually did most of like there's still some areas we could build up here but it's fine uh a metal crafters guild a woodworkers guild a stone workers guild and a craft dwarf guild up here and then you know a variety of different uh workshops and stuff like that we have our poultry up here because we had to move them away from the or we had to give them a specific space because the chickens kept on pecking at people <laughs> we had an unfortunate incident with a baroness getting pecked by a chicken and, and bruising her lung um, I don't know how a chicken bruised her lung but I decided at that point well maybe we should move them uh, even if I did laugh a little about the bruised lung um, yeah so you know like the throne rooms are largely unfinished uh, certainly the Queens is more grand than the Dukes but it is what it is um, we also have a single pangolin that hangs out over here because reasons uh, oh yeah we have this river here which apparently has some teeth in it oh actually the teeth may be gone Well, hopefully people will stop seeing dead bodies now. Uh, we also have a little pool in the Duke's dining hall because that's normal. Um, right, so I was clearing out this area to move the kitchens up here because they're kind of just in the way over here. So that'll be on our list today. Going down some more. Oh, right. We had taps on an aquifer over here. Um, going down some more, we have our bedrooms. So we have four and three floor apartments here. Um, and they're looking pretty darn nice, I must say. We have our Duke's bedroom and our Duke's tomb over here. Uh, the Lost Inn is our Duke and uh, has a bunch of bobcats, including some bobcat kittens and jaguar kittens. We have jaguars and leopards. Yeah, collects cats. Also, all these fine floodgates over here. That's the Lost Inn's request. Wants floodgates. So, they're in the bedroom now. Um, over here we have our second tavern, which is multi-level. It's uh, like three, yeah, three floors. Looking down on it is the Queen's Dining Hall with a uh, black bronze statue and an Electrum statue of Kovis the Dragon. Uh, down here we have the Queen's Bedroom which is up on a dais and then below that is her tomb because sleeping above one's tomb is perfectly normal including this re Rhesus Macaque Bone Coffin which is an artifact uh, worth 10,500. Uh, so we have a number of different uh, apartment style buildings here for our bedrooms and going down here it even has a little bit of a water feature we just filled up this area with water and we're draining it poorly off here it might eventually flood if that happens oops um, we're putting trap materials in here and putting some traps in here uh, because we had some unfortunate incidents with some forgotten beasts and yeah I know forgotten beasts are trap avoid and so these traps would do nothing to actually protect us from those but reasons um, going down further and further and further we get to our first cavern layer we have our tombs down here we have had quite a few deaths and uh, going down further this is just wide open so if if we have visitors that want to come in from the caverns well that's their prerogative sometimes I lock things off sometimes I don't this is a second cavern layer we have various siege equipment down here or actually I guess this is the third right yes this is the second one this one's completely cut off and there is a forgotten beast in here somewhere. It was floating around in the, the magma spire here, but I don't see it at the moment. So this is the third cavern layer. We have ballista, we have siege workshops and we're making ballista arrows out of silver. 
and we have silver ballistae here. Um, and this is a mysterious spire. This is where the end game is. The purpose of this little trench here is to hopefully save some of my arrows. So I believe when siege arrows fire and they hit a wall but fall a level, they aren't destroyed. And I could be wrong, but I'm hoping not because silver is kind of rare. Um, so anyways, this is the end game stuff. We're, we're going to go explore that today, I think, unless Kovis happens to make an appearance. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and yeah, we do have access to this cavern, but it, we've blocked it off so we don't have to deal with any of the ba baddies in here. There's definitely some giant cave spider silk here, so I imagine there's cave spiders in there, but I haven't seen any. And yeah, here's a magma sea. Cave spire. Um... There's some raw adamantine right there. So we just have to go down one more layer and we'll get to adamantine. So that's the plan. This is my my version of defense and we'll see if it does anything because so far my defenses have been woefully inadequate um, and I hope to continue that process. Sound reasonable? Sounds reasonable to me. So that's what we got. We got a full full fort, 200 dwarves. And uh, yeah. Whatever. All right. Right, we're trading with two different human civilizations now. Let's uh, just unpause it, see if anything breaks. Nish has created a masterpiece llama wool cloth. Congratulations, Nish. We're assembling ballista arrows. We're slaughtering turkeys because one does that. We need bucklers and warhammers and rings, which we're already doing. Excellent. So, yeah, we're just going to let them do their thing for a little bit. Uzol, the seven-year-old child, is hauling this silver ballista arrow. He is very quick to anger and prone to strong feelings of jealousy. He has a calm demeanor and is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger. He tries to keep his things orderly, prefers to pre present himself modestly, generally acts impartially, and is rarely moved to mercy. He tends, to not, tends not to be swayed by emotional appeals and tends to assume the worst of two outcomes will be the one that comes to pass. He has an active imagination and is moved by art and natural beauty, and he is troubled by this since he dislikes the natural world. He is distracted from conversations easily when he's trying to remember something. He doesn't really care about anything anymore. He dreams of creating a great work of art. He personally believes that the creation and appreciation of artwork is one of the highest ideals and doesn't think one way or the other about leisure time and doesn't see cooperation as valuable. Likes Garnierite, Electrum Tanzanite, Goose Leather, the Color Cardinal, and the Forgotten Beast Irritable. Iridabalepi has come, a gigantic quadruped composed of bronze. Never mind, I don't want to dig deeper anymore. I just want this thing. I have no method to trap anything right now. If it is on a floor that has access to our fort, we might lose the fort. A bronze quadruped with mandibles, a bloated body, and it has poisonous vapors. Of note, this dwarven child absolutely detests the brown recluse spiders. Dude, you haven't seen this beast. Alright, where be you? This one shouldn't have access to my fort. Maybe. No kills. I'm kind of inclined to try to capture it, though.
Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice if I just like... something like that. We'll um, actually dig out that. So not that. We'll dig this. And then we'll have Something like that, and only we're gonna not do that one so we can prepare accordingly. <clears throat> I want to trap a forgotten beast. Do da, do da. Don't you want to for trap a forgotten beast? I do. I mean, most of them I've been quite content to just, like, try to fight. What's going on? That's fine. Keep digging. The fact that this is like right above lava is really annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we can smooth all this. Put a door here. And then we're going to build a bridge. It's walkable perimeter. Huh. All right, I guess we can dig that one out too. Mm -hmm. 
An electrum bridge? I think so. And then we're also going to need a lever. Uh, we'll put that up here somewhere. Or, yeah, we'll put it right here. I just seen. Do we not have enough silver? We're using a bunch of silver in the Duke's bedroom. Um, stone. Oh, we have plenty of tetrahedrite. All right, we just need to smell some tetrahedrite. That's what we need to do. Probably need more um probably need more something with words that I can't think of. thinking of the whatever word I'm thinking of so hard probably need more charcoal charcoal is what we probably need wow that took way too long uh, why am I seeing dangerous terrain how is that dangerous there's <laughs> why why is there just a huge amount of kaolinite and tetrahedrite here because they keep on trying to move things over uh, I bet you I know what it is all right I keep having them go through the... ...mist generator, and that's making them cancel the job. That's what's going on. Now, if I was smart, I would have set up a way to... ...pause my mist generator. I did not set up a way to pause my mist generator. That's fine. Means forgotten a demand? That's all right. So I don't know if anybody else has been following this, but uh, yeah, Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode is coming out in April. It's gonna be fun. Not spinning thread. What's going on here? I also should be doing something with these bones. 
Bone amulets for everybody. Four billion of them. Go. I know, that was only 300. I like to exaggerate. It's okay. This has been built. Excellent. Let's uh, link this to our lever. Let's build a wall right there. I think the next fort I do, I might have to build, like I was thinking about building in the first cavern layer, but I think I might go down to like the third and, and build in there. Do a whole bunch of stuff with like Bloodthorn and yeah, maybe, we'll see. Because it's important to, sh uh, to to switch things up, you know? Queen would like rings. Wow. We've already made 20 some odd bone amulets. Good job, people. I don't have to put flooring down here, but you know, if we're going to be inviting demons into our fort, we should at least make it look nice. Um, but apparently we don't have rock blocks. We have three squads. Yeah, well, two squads plus three more. So we really should finish out that squad. And for equipment, I mean, no one's really happy, but who really is? <clears throat> so let's, um,. Make charcoal, people. I have no clue if I have any logs. Yeah, we have some. Alright, so that's all set. We can pull this lever. This is um, 
Forgotten Beast Bridge. <laughs> and it is, of course, assuming that we actually trap a Forgotten Beast, but you know, live the life that you assume you will. I assume this piece of diorite's gonna get crushed. Yep. All right. So that's all set. Let's, uh, Diggy diggy hole. Let's see if we can entice our little forgotten beast friendy to come over here. <laughs> because when you open up one wall, you should totally open up another. Forgotten Beast F.A. Omalude Wara, oh sorry, where Anira has come, a towering humanoid composed of rock salt. It has a square shell and it squirms and fidgets. Beware its poisonous sting. Unfortunately, you're not nearly as fun as the other one would be, so I'm not too worried about if you get in the fort, but well, there you are. Hi, buddy. How you doing? F.A. Skull ransacks the grease of heart. The grease of heart. Interesting. Um. Oh, but it's on the floor that it can actually get to me. All right. Military. You have a job. And that's hopefully to not die. Uh, station there. Now here's the problem. I'm not watching for the other Forgotten Beast, but I'm watching this one. <clears throat> this one's a good climber, apparently. Checking to see if the other one's on the map. All right. Hopefully, no one's in the stairwell to get in the way here. Uh, rip on get. Oh, that was a child. That said, the Forgotten Beast misses the Dwarven Child. The Dwarven Child punches the Forgotten Beast. The Forgotten Beast attacks the Dwar Dwarven Child, but she jumps away. The D Dwarven Child punches the Forgotten Beast. The Dr Dwarven Child scratches the Forgotten Beast in the head, fracturing it. So this, this Forgotten Beast is made of, uh, what was it, Quartzite? Rock salt, very close to quartzite. Totally. I mean, they're both pink in the game, so that works. The head is fractured, the head is torn open. Yeah, the dwarven child was special, unfortunately. Unget died. Um, let's uh, actually forbid the corpse right now, because we don't want anybody to come down here and start grabbing things while there's a gigantic monster in the way. All right, and the battle starts. Titan Killer Olin is first in to the fray. 
The Forgotten Beast misses the Titan Killer. The Titan Killer strikes the Forgotten Beast in the upper body with her bronze shield, fracturing it. Uh, also, the Spear Dwarf Aeson has come, misses, and Bomrek uh, kicks the Forgotten Beast in the left upper leg with his right foot, but the attack glances away. Uh, F.A. is enraged at all enemies. Oops. Um, most recently, the Marks Dwarf kicks the Forgotten Beast in the lower body with his right foot, but the attack glances away. Uh, Forgotten Beast strikes at the Spear Dwarf, but the shot is blocked with the Bronze Shield. Um, oh, before that, apparently we have a Steel Spear. Who knew? Um, the Militia Captain stabs the Forgotten Beast in the upper body with the Steel, steel Spear, chipping it. And stabs again in the right up lower leg with the steel spear, also chipping it. Yeah, that's... Seems to be, uh... Getting the lower end of this. And they're just all ganging up on it now. Uh, the Axe Dwarf hacks the Forgotten Beast in the upper body with her bronze battle axe, and the injured part is cloven asunder. The body is cloven asunder? Yes, it is. And it's dead. Uh, so, Doosim the Axe Dwarf? No. Amos? Amos killed the Forgotten Beast. Um, hmm. I'll call you Beast Slayer. Uh, Amos, do you have a bedroom? No. <laughs> Oops. All right. Good job, dwarves. Good job. Now, um, still no sign of the other Forgotten Beast at the moment. Uh, let's go down and, uh, angled rock salt. You know what? Let's, um, let's put a pedestal in the... Not an offering place, a display in the barracks. And we'll put the body of the Forgotten Beast there. Is it party time? It is party time. Problem is, I was in the middle of something. We can turn up the sound, though. <laughs> Dwarves dance! 